Hi guys, thanks for joining me. My name's Daniel, and in this video, I'll be showing you how easy it is to get up and running with Zen Server 7 via Amazon's Marketplace. An application server with a supported PHP runtime, Zen Server gives PHP developers and DevOps managers a set of tools that will take your applications to an entirely new level. Z-Ray, app deployment automation, performance monitoring, request analysis, and configuration management. All these enable apps to run faster, scale better, and stay up longer. And using Amazon's cloud formation, you can effortlessly set up and manage your own clustered environment with automatic scaling and load balancing. To learn how to set up a cluster using Zen Server's integration with Amazon's cloud formation, watch the next Zen Server on Cloud video. So let's get started. You're now looking at Amazon's Web Services Marketplace which I've already signed into with my Amazon account. I'm going to search for Zen Server using the search box at the top of the page. What we get is a list of all the available Zen Server AMIs. An AMI, or an Amazon machine image, is basically a template that contains a software configuration. You can launch the Zen Server 7 Developer, Professional, or Enterprise Edition either on the Debian or RHEL Linux distributions and with PHP 5.4 or PHP 5.5. If you're looking for PHP 5.3 support, you can select one of the Zen Server 6.3 AMIs. I'm going to go for the Zen Server 7 Developer Edition on Debian with PHP 5.5. We now get an overview of the AMI we selected. You've got some general info about the product, support details, some useful resources you can check out, and the pricing details. Clicking continue, you now get to configure the AMI launching configurations. For example, you can select the geographic location of the servers to be used in your server deployment. Or you can select the instance type. An Amazon instance is a virtual server that runs the application created from the selected AMI. They include a combination of CPU, memory, storage, and basically allow you to choose which mix of resources you use for your applications. Of course, each instance type has a different pricing, so take that into consideration. Next, we need to select a key pair to use for securely accessing Zen Server. If you're just starting with Amazon's Web Services, you'll need to create one before continuing. Once you're done, click this indiscreet launching button. We get a nice summary of our installation, and we're now going to check on our deployment by accessing the AWS Management Console. This can be done by clicking the link at the top of the summary dialog. Selecting instances from the menu on the left, I get a list of all my running instances. At the bottom of the list, our Zen Server instance is in the process of being initialized. After a short while, the instance is ready, and now I'd like to access the Zen Server UI. To do this, I'm going to copy the public DNS from the description of the AMI below. I'm going to paste it in my browser and add the port number the Zen Server UI uses. The final step before launching Zen Server is authentication. We're going to enter admin as the username. And for the password, we're going to use the instance ID. You can get the instance ID from the instances list back in the management console. What I'm going to do now is complete the Zen Server launch wizard. So first I'm going to accept the license agreement, enter a password for accessing the UI, and after our libraries are successfully installed, I'm just going to click launch in the summary dialog. Well done. You've now got Zen Server up and running on Amazon. Deploy any one of the available sample apps or a packaged application of your own 
and use Zen Server's developer tools to improve them. Use the all-new Z-Ray to inspect, analyze and optimize your code. And leverage the unmatched integration with Zen Studio to directly debug your apps on your Amazon server. For an overview of the other available features, watch the Introducing Zen Server video. Thanks for watching.